Romeo and Juliet is one of the ballets all the dancers would aspire or dream to perform and also all the companies would dream to dance. I was so pleased when I approached uh, Lady Deborah Macmillan and she had um, generously um, entrusted this ballet to us. Kenneth did Romeo and Juliet back in 1965 when he was quite a young man. It was his first big three-act ballet. It's about a youthful love story. I mean, Juliet's supposed to be 14 or something horrific when all of this happens. And so to have a, a young company attack it, for me, is what the story's about. It's generally considered to be one of the best productions. It had all sorts of, you know, massive curtain calls when it first went on. To come here and see a young company tackle it is what it's all about. The Queensland Ballet was granted funding for this superstar project because it really ticked all of the boxes. The Superstar Fund is a $3 million investment by Queensland taxpayers over four years. And it's all about doing two things, to bring the best in the world for Queenslanders to see, and secondly, to allow our local performers to perform with the best in the world. We have Carlos Acosta, Tamara Rojo, and Stephen McRae coming, as well as Australian-based superstars as well. And we have Daniel Guardiello and also Steve Heathcote. Dancers learn from working with other dancers. To have them on the stage with someone like Carlos Acosta or Tamara or Stephen will give them the most fantastic experience. Kenneth was always interested in helping younger dancers to develop their, their gifts and this is a golden opportunity to do that. Playing Romeo as a character it's something special because it's something you can really delve into and get into the character. There's so many layers to doing Romeo and it's a very human experience for the audience so they can relate to all the characters and, and that's when you take people on a journey and I think that's what Macmillan does so well in this production. There's a whole creative team came to help us to mount this production. The costume people, the set and the prop people and the stagers, the stagers assistant, and also Lady Deborah Macmillan herself. I think that's when it becomes a really special production when you've got great costumes, great sets, great music, great choreography, and great dancers. That combination is always a recipe for success and it's why everyone always tries to emulate when they put a production on stage. Romeo and Juliet is probably the biggest undertaking uh, in Queensland Ballet history and uh, I really hoped that this is going to shatter some uh, glass ceilings for us. This is the first time it's been performed in Australia and uh, a huge honour I think for the company to be doing this production. I feel confident that our company will rise to that challenge to perform their heart out.